Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today I'm going to help you get the best value out of your pearls. I do use a lot of pearls in my work, and one thing that I definitely do to almost every pearl that I have is to polish it before I use it. Polishing your pearls with red rouge and a felt or muslin buff on your flex shaft or dremel is all that you need when polishing most pearls. If I'm only polishing one or two pearls, I just hold it in my hand and polish. By polishing your pearls, you really bring up the look and luster of the pearls, plus they will look several grades better. If I'm doing a bunch of pearls, I'll use my pin vise with a short pin to hold the pearls in place. It's easier to hold the pearls while polishing and a lot less messy. Hopefully you can see how much brighter they are becoming. While this can be done on most pearls, it's best to use this pearl polishing technique on non-nucleated pearls. Some nucleated pearls have thin nacre that can be polished through if you're not careful when polishing your pearls. A pearl is made of many layers of nacre. Non-nucleated pearls are solid nacre. Nucleated pearls have a bead nucleus covered by a thin layer of nacre. Pearl types. This illustration shows the difference between a nucleated and a non-nucleated pearl. So far I've been using the felt wheel, but you could also use a muslin wheel. Another technique that I'll use if I'm polishing a lot of pearls at once is to make a pearl-sized divot in a mounted hard felt cylinder. I'll cut out the concave area with a large ball burr and charge it with rouge. Then I'll either polish the pearls on my flex shaft or put the mounted cylinder on my desktop motor. The side of the cylinder can also be used for dips in the pearl surfaces. When polishing the pearls, don't overdo it with the rouge compound. Charge a wheel with the pearl polish sparing wheel. If you have a red film building up on your pearl, rub it away with a soft cloth or change your wheel and polish away the film. Sometimes using rouge to polish a pearl just won't do the job. Maybe the whole pearl surface is chalky or a cosmetic has ruined the top layer of nacre. In these instances, I use a light abrasive compound called Tripoli that is also used for metal polishing. I lightly Tripoli the surface, being careful and going slow. This is where you can ruin a nucleated pearl. After the Tripoli step, you will need to wash your pearl and then red rouge polish it again. If you are just doing a few pearls and don't want to leave your bench, you can just use acetone for this. Otherwise, wash your pearls with an alkaline or ammonia-based cleaner. After you rouge the pearls, you will also need to wash them in this way. Always, always spot test a new cleaner on your pearls before washing them with it, just in case they are not compatible. Never use an acid-based cleaner. It will ruin your pearls. If the pearls are strong, be very careful not to get rouge on the cord, as it will stain it red and be difficult to get the color out. What if you have a deep scratch in your pearl? Watch this here. Thank you, and see you in the next video. I have a lot of other videos on pearls, stone drilling, electroforming, jewelry techniques, and electroplating. Please like and subscribe, and keep on plating and creating. And it looks a lot better already.